at home. I know that there's some people that uh, back in America they have their mulberry trees and they're also growing their own silkworms. This is our cocoon that we get from our farms around the area. There's a few areas in Turkey where you can get silk. This is one of them. And the color is white, as you see it right there. You can get gold, you can get creamy, and some rare cases you can even get red tones in the original silk. There's a, there's a brown spot there. Can you get to see that? Mm -hmm. That is the acid of the little worm that wanted to break that, come out to start a cycle all over. Unfortunately, we had to keep some of them inside by healing them with hot steam shock because I want to have the whole thing without any holes in it because I want to pull the thread. I'm going to try to pull the thread right now in front of you so you can see what's going on. Can you see the thread there? No, it's very thin. But after a while, you'll break it. There's no way that I can continue. Chinese discovered that this was the method by having an accident when one of these cocoons fell in the cup of tea of the Empress, that she was having a tea under mulberry tree. This is what the history tells us. Two monks traveled from Anatolia, Asia Minor, to bring the secret to Turkey. And since those days, we're doing it like this. Hot water, this is the only thing I have. There's nothing else. I put my cocoons, 45 days is what I need to come to this point. They take out of their mouth a combination of saliva and sticky substance to cover themselves. Listen, please. That little worm is inside. Then we put them in water. Get your cameras ready, because she's going to show you how to pick those and start to unravel them. Here you go. One, two, three. That's how you get sealed. Very simple. There is no high tech involved, Dr. Decker. Touch it, please. You can touch this seal here, and you're going to understand it much better. Well, silk, as you probably, yeah, as you, no, no problem, no problem, as you probably understand, silk is not a very silky material. Silk is rough. Touch it, please. This is raw silk. But that's not the silk that you touch when you do ties, blouses, or carpets, or textile. When you use the dyes that are chemicals, the chemicals are softening the thread, and you can just produce all of them. Now I'm going to show you the unraveling process. Take a look at here. Pay attention to that. Look at the lady. Oh, wow. There's a very simple mechanism. Oh, wow. She's just spinning the wheel. The spinning cocoons wheel. are jumping around in the water. There's a friction that you create with the water that gives you steam that comes out of there. And if you want to empty the whole thing, you're going to need seven hours. This is seven hours of labor just to get this much of silk. That is why silk on silk or silk on cotton carpets, they're always in a much higher level when it comes to the price. It's because to get the yarn is hard and to weave that yarn takes another several months. You start like that, you finish like this. And you see the little worm inside? All of these with the first sort of 100 meters that she took at the beginning, we're gonna give it to textile companies to mix with cotton and make, for example, shirts. Nothing is wasted. You can use absolutely everything. With a worm, you can make skincare creams for ladies. This is very good for the body, especially for your face. Nothing is wasted. We use it on surgery, we use it on parachutes, for stitches, uh, for textile.